We begin tonight at 11 o'clock with an update on the coronavirus and how state and local leaders are responding. Good evening, I'm Caroline Goggin. And I'm Mike Montecalvo. Tonight, the president, along with both governors of Rhode Island and Massachusetts, updated the public on new guidelines, the number of cases, and what changes they are making to keep the virus from spreading. Health officials say the problem with this virus is that you can pass it on to another person even if you don't have symptoms yourself. It can take up to two weeks for symptoms to show, so we want to remind you what exactly those symptoms are. Now, according to the CDC, you can experience a high fever, a dry cough, and shortness of breath. If you have any of these symptoms, you're urged to call your health care provider right away, along with the Department of Health. Now, we do have team coverage for you tonight. We're leading off with Eyewitness News reporter Brittany Schaefer with the latest measures Governor Gina Raimondo is taking as the number of cases in Rhode Island climbs to 21. Well, a lot of updates Monday, including the state house and other state buildings are now closed to visitors. Governor Gina Raimondo emphasizing to avoid all non-essential activities. Event, uh, Rhode Island leaders updating residents on coronavirus twice Monday workers. while also placing more restrictions on everyday life. Along with one more confirmed case, Department of Health Director okay. Dr. Nicole Alexander-Scott says there is community transmission. It is critical right now that people not be a part of gatherings or crowds where there are 25 people or more. We have started to see cases where we have not been able to immediately identify the source of illness. To err on the side of caution and to help us stay two steps ahead of this, we are saying that Rhode Island has community spread. Governor Gina Raimondo announcing all restaurants and bars are being limited to takeout, drive through and delivery only. The Providence Place Mall is officially closed tonight and the Warwick Mall also closed all common areas. Also this afternoon, Raimondo says there were long lines at the Department of Motor Vehicles today, therefore actions need to be taken. Starting tomorrow, all DMV satellite offices will be closed. DMV has suspended driving tests until future notice. The Cranston DMV, our main office, will be suspending personal driver's license, identification, and registration services through the end of this week. Everything you don't have to do, let it wait, stay home. Health officials say social distancing is critical to control the spread of COVID-19 and to avoid a spike in cases. We are being very aggressive because this window of opportunity is only open to us once. If we work effectively now, we can decrease how long this goes on for. And still no additional update on public schools passed this week, but Governor Gina Raimondo says she's being as transparent as possible with daily updates. I'm Brittany Schaefer, Eyewitness News.